Hello everyone, I'm Baradactyl, and welcome to tonight's Friday Fright Double Feature. On tonight's menu, we take a trip out to some cornfields and experience a close encounter of the third kind, while contracting a case of potentially terminal stupidity. After that, we once again take a trip to the bottom of the ocean. Only this time, we take part in some presumed international espionage, and surprise surprise, get swept up in a mess we probably have no right being a part of. Now, with that out of the way, let's move on to our feature. And for our first feature of the night, we have They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. Now, alien sci-fi in the horror space, that's not really common, so honestly, I'm pretty excited for this game. So, let's start the feature. Unexplained phenomenon occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all of the animals went crazy, the dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself, in the field, saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. So I'm a reporter. Oh, this game is beautiful. Oh, this game is absolutely beautiful. I have a crouch button. I don't have a sprint button, though, so I'm not... Oh. Left mouse to take a photo. This is great material for a news report. So I can zoom in. No sprint button though, so that's concerning. So I got a feeling this might be a little stealth based. Again, this game is beautiful. Well, maybe the corn, not so much. I will throw hands with the first alien that shows its ass. Let's go. Let's see. We got here. Miss Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to look for her. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Peter Sherman, P.S. Be careful. Hmm. Put it back. I feel like I should take that. Inspect the house. Okay. I would love a flashlight. I am absolutely going to have to brighten this for everyone watching, because good lord. Yeah, that's a telephone. I do like the investigation thing, though. Let me just... Uh, you know, maybe latch the door, instead of, you know, leaving things up to chance. Old newspaper. I'm sick. Those were the words used by John King, 23 of 92 Otis Street, when he walked into the Bangor Police Station and told of seeing an unidentified flying object at which he fired about... fired four shots from a pistol. He was aware that at least two reports were made concerning the object. A Mrs. Robert Collins of 32 Gilbert Street, Aronco, said she viewed the object from her home for about 30 minutes. She described the object as having a pinkish, reddish, and greenish color and said that she was too far away to make out how big the object was that she had seen. She said also that her husband had seen the object as he drove home. At 11.55 p.m., King reported the... Uh, King reported the sighting to the police at 11.55 p.m., and the latter went immediately to the area of Mount Hope Avenue. 
but could find no trace of it. Captain... Melanus? I, mean, I can't read that. McLewis? Said he must have seen something because he was visibly upset. Down to Earth approached alien visitors. I can't read all of that, and I apologize. But just know, aliens. Uh, come on. There we go. Extraterrestrial hypothesis still unproved. Mystify inhabitants of Tiffin on recent morning. I feel like this might be a real newspaper thing that they just kind of like stuck here. If not, a lot of effort went into that and I appreciate that. Milk, soda, and a pizza box. Also, my computer is crying right now. And locked. Why? Oh. Photo. Might be if, I imagine that might be the developer's family or something in place. Uh, that is why. Oh. Again, I'm loving this. Some things don't make sense to me, like why the fridge is there. But you know, honestly, I've, I've seen weirder in these games. Let's see. That's better. Oh. An adorable puppy. I love dogs. And I wish I had a pet dog. Little castle on the clock. Someday I'll have one. Scotch. CST 1820. Wow. That must be some expensive scotch. Again, I imagine a lot of this isn't relevant, but, like, points to the developer for immersion and actually, like, adding all these little things in. Like, I love that little attention to detail. Don't love my computer screaming, though. A duck. Ooh. Oh, boy. Child's draw. Oh, no! Oh. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. You mean just a member of the Sherman family. Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. What things? Oh. Property of Negan. Wait, what? Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yes, I do. You know, about this time, any sane person would be bailing about now. I mean, I get it. Report, all that. But, like, I should be bailing. If I was a police officer or something, sure. But, like, I'm not. I am a reporter. Oh, I gotta hide in there, don't I? Okay. Farmer, ch Farmer's Children's Diary. Sticker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and serious day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was just fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table, as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. And then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep, I would be too.
Okay. This is great material for the news report. Like, I get it, but I shouldn't be this excited. I should be scared. Oh. Oh. I'm just. Oh. I have a I should have checked out the computer screen, shouldn't I? Farmers note: I've learned a lot about these things. They're called the Greys. They're not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way: a large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along in a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for example in the middle of a field or on a road, a few kilometers away from the home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body incisions to be exact. During palpation, it feel during pa palpation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. I uh, no, oh, the photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. Looks creepy. Photo from the internet. Okay. If I recall, this is from that fake alien abduction, that alien, fake alien autopsy that was shown on TV back in like the 50s. Yeah, that's definitely from that. Weird video. Look it up if you're like not bothered by like gore. But uh, yeah. You know, a sane person would lock themselves in that closet and never leave. I'm uh gonna do this. Because I heard noises I don't like. So it was my goal to escape. Is there like a consequence? Is there anything here? Like I, I, I will say this much, I am, uh, I am uncom. They succeeded at that. Good lord. <sighs> I feel like I should have looked at everything else, but I had no idea what was going to trigger what. So I apologize for that. Any way to restore the power? No. Oh. Hmm. I, uh... That door was not open before. Oh. Oh, cattle mutilation. Lovely. Don't know if that's kosher for you two, but, like, I imagine it probably is. Oh! Fish. We'll find out if it's kosher for YouTube or not, though. Can't be any worse than some of the, some of the content I've seen on YouTube. Uh, fascinating. This is an old '50s movie, isn't it? Actually, no, that's in color. That's like '60s early 60s, I imagine. Hmm. Wow, that color bleed. Okay. Again? I should be leaving. Leaving. 
Automatic rewind. Okay, I'm uh I am on edge. I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't. Uh why is there As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. Went to the doctor dozens of times. No one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. I was then, it was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me. Yeah, something in me. Some kind of transmitter implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. You are not crazy. And though Sherman claims to have taken that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? Yeah, I'll take it. I, uh... I... I believe I have enough. Some these were not knocked over earlier. Woo. Maybe I should turn off my light and just book it. Oh no. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not okay. Sorry for being, like, quiet. Oh, no. I'm, uh, actually kind of perturbed right now. No, 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 no. In the car, in the car. Oh. And that was the EMP, so the battery's dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this, this horror hits different. This horror hits real different. Hi. Huh. Huh. I, uh... Oh! I just got decked by an alien. I, uh... Oh. Oh, come on. Let's see. You will find a large Central Grizzly farm and a full story of an alien induction. Add the game to your wish list. Seat. That was good. I'm a sucker for detective stuff, and I also love aliens. But like, yeah. I want that. I want this game in full. I will play this game in full when it comes out. That is a promise. But with that all done, let's move on to the next feature. Shall we? And for our next feature of the night, we have Endless Blue. Which is another... PlayStation inspired survival horror game. And you know how much I love those. I do actually like them for the most part. I just don't like tank controls. Also, this game seems to be recommended to play with a controller, so I'll be playing with that. And it looks like I have a way to toggle off tank controls. PlayStation 2 era. That ain't PS1. It's like somewhere between. Command, I've infiltrated the underwater research facility. Static. Damn it. The storm up above must be disrupting their communications. Well, whatever. The show must go on. Yes, the show must. Oh. Oh. My dive equipment. Might as well leave it here for now. Oh, tank controls are horrible. 
incoming shipment log, 8 1493. Four cases of provisions, two cases of lab equipment, two cases of organic material, one case of live specimen, and one case of books and magazines. A computer workstation. Doesn't look like it's running any program, though. Oh, God. So when I toggle off of tank controls, it is slightly better, I think. Hmm. It won't budge. Must be locked from the other side. Actually, no, this is better. When the camera's agreeing, the non-tank controls are better. Okay. Oh, that brings back memories. The fun fact, when I played Resident Evil, it was on the Nintendo 64, originally, and not actually on the PlayStation. The game that's apparently considered a compression masterpiece. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll play. I hate, like, static camera in games. Always one of my biggest peeves. I wasn't exactly expecting a warm welcome, but this is ridiculous. Where is everybody? Points for having voice acting, but losing points on the voice acting performance. I will take that. Okay, now it just feels like 007. Looks like some kind of radar monitoring station. easier to move like this, but, uh, yeah. Gauges and other monitoring equipment. Some kind of computer visual visualization, not sure of what. Points for music, though. Okay, these controls are slightly less frustrating, but still frustrating. Emergency log. 0845 hours. 845 hours. I, I don't know how to say speak military time, so I apologize. Emergency protocol activated. Containment breach in lab section B. Initiate quarantine protocol. Emergency detachment of umbilicus DI. Evacuate research personnel. I should be bailing. I don't have the right access card. Okay. So, my choice is tank controls or Metal Gear Solid controls, by the way. And I played more Metal Gear Solid than I played other things, so... Yeah, Metal Gear Solid controls it is. Specifically Metal Gear Solid 3, it feels like. The best one in the series, and I will die on that hill. Even if there's some, uh... Problematic? Problematic content. But then again, 60s spy flicks, misogyny, unfortunately, they kind of get there. Thanks, Sean Connery. Even though it's 007, you're playing the role, but eh, whatever. Semantics. I can't believe it. I'm really here. My family always thought it was crazy, but I've dreamed of living in the ocean since I was a child. Now, instead of wasting half the day preparing for a dive, we're already here, surrounded by the beauty and wonder of the Great Blue Expanse. You say beauty and wonder, I say horror. There's just some, like, even space is bad. Mixwell. Probably supposed to be Maxwell. You took the VHS tape. Nerve. Last kiss. I don't know if those are actual posters or just made up. Ooh. Awkward controls. Just in case. 3, 2, 1, then rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Oh, so 1, 2, 3. Uh, if I know anything about these games, I am gonna take I'm gonna take a quick snapshot of this. Because you know, when I was a kid I didn't have the like amazingness of a camera that's in my pocket at all times. And computer, but still. They get a lot of point oh, a bunch just a bunch of academic looking books. Oh boy. Depth, 1,099 meters. So where is this going? And I apologize if you all hear a bunch of noise temporarily, because it was a 
bunch of wires scraping together because I need to cable manage my desk. Oh no. Well, that didn't solve any mysteries, that just created more. Lockers, probably for the researchers' personal belongings, yeah. Not like you care, you seem to be a spot a spy. Controls are awkward, but they're better than tank controls. I need to remind myself that. Dear developers of retro horror games, please, please don't. Tank controls are the one thing that everybody hated about them. Please just modernize the controls a bit. If you're using fixed angles, just, just go Metal Gear with it. Don't tank control. Okay. Lockers. They all seem to be locked. Well... They are. Lockers. Hazmat suits hanging from the wall. What kind of research are they doing here exactly? I don't know. You'd think as a spy... I just picked something up. You'd think as a spy you would have better intel. Oh. Resume game. Weapon. Items. Head kit. Oh, I can equip items. Okay. Uh... I have no weapon. VHS locker hint. Okay. Oh, I have a flashlight. I'm unarmed. There's no way to, like, actually fight, from what I can tell. Hmm. Oh, well. That's a body. Howdy, neighbor. You done got your heart ripped out. Good question. Very good question. Wow, pretty boy. Rafael Valentino, Botanical Research Associate. Security access C. I get it. You're a spy and you're on a mission, but, uh, ma'am? You should be bailing. But you can't expect all protagonists to bail at the first sign of trouble. Oh boy, howdy, I can. That's called being reasonable. It won't budge. There's a red flashing light. I imagine that's probably the lockdown that I have to release. But, what, but you wouldn't have a game. I know I wouldn't have a game, but at the same time... Like, I don't have a flight response, but I do have a... Mm. Things are kind of, uh... Kind of sus. I should leave. I do have that kind of response. I do have the response called intelligence. That is pretty, though. Okay. Boink. Okay, that's cool. But I do have a common sense response. That's the best way to name it. Okay, moving on. Just some radio equipment and a computer. Oh, cutscene. Um, uh, that ain't natural. Uh, what? Why am I wearing a dress? Strange. Who oh, it's not one? me. Never mind. They lose points if her name is Ada. Camera feeds from around the facility. No further sign of that woman, though. I would dock a score of a total of 20% on a grading scale if her name is Ada or Wong is part of her name. Security log, August 20th, 2300 hours. Had to intervene when a few of the research scientists got a little too drunk in the lab. Apparently there was some big discovery, hence the party. But the specifics are still very hush-hush. Escorted the unruly scientists back to their bunks with no further incident. Aha! I have this clue. Alright, so one, two, three. One. Two. Three.
then rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Wait. Oh. So. Okay, so. One, two, three. Then. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, no. Counterclockwise. Okay. One, two, three. So counterclockwise is left. So that would be one, two, three. Uh, there we go. Brute force. Damn. Cleaned out. Well, I guess this will have to do. I have a Glock! You took the 9mm handgun. Why is it always a Beretta? I got 22 rounds? How durable is this stuff? Okay. Uh. Let me check the controls real quick. Make sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, aim. Aim, okay, so R1. What is aiming? Where is my aim button? Oh, L and R1, okay. Cool. Let me actually understand the controls before I do something stupid. <laughs> I don't have the right access for this door. Hmm. So, let's drop down. Already read that. I have a gun now. It doesn't afraid of anything. Well. I hope my audio does not distort too much there. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Don't come any closer. I'll shoot if I have to. I will. Six rounds. Hello. Is anyone? Oh, I love this. Who is this? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank Please. God. I barricaded myself in the break room, but those monsters are still out there. First, I need you to tell me what the hell is going on at this facility. Look, I don't know too much myself. I can try to explain, but you must help me. The connecting tunnel to the laboratory section was destroyed. But you can still get over here through an emergency hatch in the generator. You want me to swim over there and take on God knows how many of those monsters? I'll try to explain best as I can. But please, you must come quickly. Please. Damn it. This mission just keeps getting weirder. Yeah, it does. But I can't turn back now. No, you can't. Oh, come on. It was just getting good. Alright, so... Since I had the option to turn off tank controls... the regular train of thought since I had the option to turn off tank controls. This game is this game is good. That's my big complaint, but it's gone. Still a little awkward, but no. This game is like this is great. The dancing is hilarious. Let me go back just to see if I can walk back to the swimming area. But yeah the I like it. I want more of this. I want a full game of this. It's retro, but like with all the 
crap that I hate taking out. And by crap taking out, I mean the tank controls. I'm just gonna go back. Just like I said, it's probably the end, but I'm gonna be one hundred percent sure. Well, that does seem to be about it. With that aside, though, thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode. If you're enjoying your stay, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Feed the algorithm to stop an impending nuclear disaster. You know, because YouTube's an evil mastermind. Google might be. But anyway, this is Baradactyl signing off, and I'll see you all later.